Hi, Denisha. You all right, sweetheart? We're live. We're live. I'm going to tip you slightly so you can see what's going on. So I'm doing another one of those. I might need to do another two, but we'll see how much this one weighs. I need 29 grams. <laughs> oh. Matter there inside the nips. Got vegetable matter in the nips. I don't know why it's doing this again. There we go. Right. Green. So this is Peacock on Shetland. And then I've got Wave on Shetland. And I'm using grey wool nips. As add-ins for texture. Oops, that didn't go in. I must have put too much on. Oh, go this way. Right, so it's just a little bit too much there. So I'm try just even that out a bit. Hi, Jen. Nice to have you back. I'm going to wear this one. Hi, Jenna. Uh, 21 minutes. I am going to have to do another one. Because it's not quite 50 grams. So do one more. It doesn't need to be as thick. Thank you. It's peacock and wave. So it's a wavy peacock. <laughs> and I'm just adding wool nets in for texture. Hi, Tamsin. How are you, sweetheart? Just making some Rolex. 
using Shetland in Peacock and Wave and then uh, some wool nips. I, I like Peacock colours as well. I like the shine that they give. So this one doesn't need to be as thick as the others. So I'll just do the one layer. I'll have to do two layers because I've got to make sure they stay in that chair. Oh, thanks, Denny. That makes real lags. Oh. Well, we've got to do these things from time to time. I need to cut my nails. I can't do one with my board. You see how long they're getting. They're getting too long. Thank you, Tamsin. Good morning, Carol. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm glad it, I, I'm glad I can calm someone down. <laughs> I'm usually railing people up by getting all excited and giddy. <laughs> Technically, I only need eight grams in this raw lag, so it is going to be over. I just need to make sure I write it down so I don't forget. I have to excuse the noise. <laughs> they do, they do. I think this is the way I just keep calm by because it was getting too much doing the inventory. So it was like, do you know what? No, I'm going to stop and I'm going to do some Rolex. So, bit of uh, vegetable matter there. So, no, I've done that wrong with that. Maybe that way. I'm going to keep it all right there. So, that's the raw lag. You've got your grey nips throughout. Oh. Right. So, I need these out so I can weigh them. That's their 65 gram altogether. Piece of paper and 65 gram Shetland walnuts. 
And I can just put all that together. Hi, Julie. My specialist told me to not do the same thing all day, do bits of this and that, and not too much sex. <laughs> well, I'd be stuffed with the latter. I can cope with the rest of it, going from this to that, but not the latter. Oh, I am putting a piece of paper in. Do you know, I'm looking forward to getting the shop done. Because I like these little bags, they look so cool, isn't it? Right. I don't want to do any more wool necks. I don't that like them, but they look good when you spin them, which is the only reason why I got them. And they're a pain in backside for getting in and not coming out. Thank you very much, Julie. They are pretty colours. Peacock and wave. I've got carpet down and I'm throwing stuff down. That's not good, is it? Shift it out of the way. What colour shall I do now? Let's see what we've got over here. I've got a box here full of wool. That's just wools. This here is full of all add-ins, such as nylon, bam bamboo, uh, crimped nylon, silks, sari silks, all that's in there, Angelina and whatnot. And then in here I've got bits of wool and stuff for blending. And then in that bag there, you can't quite see it, but... There's a bag over here with loads of fleece in. And that's my breed study bag. So that'll slowly deplete and go down. So let's have a play with what's in here. I don't think we'll need them. Have a look. I don't know what that I think these are mystery ones, mystery fibres. That's a bat. That feels like cashmere. And looks like cashmere where how short the fibres are. See, see how short those fibres are. That reminds me of cashmere. But it could also be cotton, but it's not. I'm going with cashmere. So I've got some cashmere to play with. We've got us Blitzy Raspberry, Falkland, um, we've got these blends here that there is as well. The bags are lovely, I agree. You love fall colours. See, fall colours are orange, reds, greens, browns, golds, yellows ish. Am I right there? You're getting everything organised. You must be enjoying having the dedicated space. I am very much, Tamsin. Getting there. So, I just need some more of those big ones up there and some more of these grey ones so that I can swap bags into the grave. <laughs> and I'll get there and it'll all be, it'll all get sorted. So we've got some Lucky Dick blends thingies here that we could use and do some mystery blending fibre Rolags. I do believe that's Merino Roving. It looks like it. I 
So that's roving. And then I've got some shimmering cascade, which is a glitzy blue. And like I say, I've got all the maddings in that box there. So I don't want to use that Marimo. I just don't. I'll have a look at them. I'll keep out the falcons. I think those will go nice together. But I'll have to check out what they are again. I think they're Corriedale. Or one's Corriedale and one's Merino. I'm not sure. Right. We'll put that away. I've got so much on this table already, it's unreal. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. Oh, I think I'll use the cappuccino, the one with the um, Tussa silkin. Is it Tussa? I think it is. It's a creamy coloured one anyway. I don't know if you can see the difference in there. Can you see that? That's where it is. All right then, Jane, you have a good day, sweetheart. Enjoy your dinner. So there's cappuccino. Oh, is that latte and that cappuccino? No, that's... Oh, I don't know. But we've got all these blends here that I won't mind using. I'm not using that. I don't like it. I don't like the colours. It's too much. So, let's have a look. We could do we could use a tusser actually. Is that a light colour as well? Could go down in a colour gradient from dark brown to light browny grey to the cappuccino, which is a creamier colour than this one. I don't know if you'd notice difference between them two. Probably not, actually. So I could use them two with that one. Do we want, because it's already got silk in, do we want Angelina? I have been using a green base and adding colours. I'm loving the look compared to a white base base to be fair as so long as it's a longer staple length than what you're putting on if that makes sense do i get the angelina out and give it a bit of sparkle or do i just have it with a sheen from the silks in there You've been using a grey base. Oh, nice. Grey works with a lot of things. You, even black works really good as well. That went a bit cold. I'm not one for cold stuff. Right. I'm going to use this brown, which I'm assuming they're going to be called mystery raw lags or mystery lags <laughs> because they are a bit of a mystery. And I don't like that end. So I'm just going to pull that off and that'll go in one of my top, my tubs for later on oh there's a breeze 
And I don't know where that's come from all of a sudden because we haven't had one all blooming morning. Yes, it does, Carol. I agree. I like uh, using black um, with yellows and colours that usually get blown out by the more contrasting colour, if that were, if that makes sense. Colours that usually get blown out by white, I'll use against black. I can't think of my wording properly. I do believe this is Jacobs. So Jacobs are shirt looking at them. No, I'd say it was, I'd say it was Jacobs. Is this one? And we've got this grey one, which I do believe is Shetland. Yeah. So we've got, if I'm right, we've got Jacobs. Shetland, Merino. I do believe I am right because I did some research into what the lucky dips could be and that's where I got to. Oh, should I say that's how I know roughly what I'm playing with. are in there and then we'll add the white and just see what it looks like to whether I make up some more of the same or try something different fuchsia and tur turquoise yeah um I do like like sunshine yellow and a uh, little bit kelly green with black I think they look really nice. I don't know where end is to this. Um, <laughs> there we go. I don't think we're going to need all that. You know, I really do need to dye some uh, fibre black. But what I really want to do is do a rainbow and then over dye it black. You know, like you would if you were doing a resist jam to get different colours poking through the black. Well, I want to do that, but with fibre, just to see if it'll work. Thank you. 
you know what? I am going to do some more of those because oh, <laughs> I think that looks gorgeous. So we've got dark brown going into a light browny gray into that whitey cream. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. I'm going to do some more. don't like that bit, though. Turn that off. So I will do some more of those. So that's all. We know that's one combination that we can do. So I'll put them together. Put them up there with that book. What have I done with my book? I'll put it somewhere beyond all this, won't it? It is. <laughs> so, not only do I need to try out eco fiber in several ways to see the best way to spin, short forward fold or roll lag, I need to dye a rainbow fiber over dyed in black to get rainbow resist that's the word resist marks yeah so i am writing these down because <laughs> we've got to keep the ideas flowing and uh, going for it i'd love to keep handing hanging out but I've got to get to work today is a filming day enjoying not a problem Tamsin what are you filming is it a sit and spin can I can I watch while I spin <laughs> if anybody is watching that has got a spanner can you please put a link to Tamsin's channel so that you can go and follow her because she's cool she's amazing and she does sit and spin, and you need a tinfoil hat. It's well good. <laughs> Hi, Spring. How are you? We're just, I'm just testing out. It's a sit and spin. Yay! I love sit and spins. She, she goes into the world of uh, weird and wonderful, and I love weird and wonderful. We need us tinfoil hats. I like it. <laughs> Do you not know like fibre, but I like eating it. It's not nice. Right. I do believe these will go together so well and so nice. I don't think I need to check it out because those two colours together for me are just <coughs> yummy. I do like them, but I might do like one pink raw lag, one blue raw lag, so you can have self striping longer ones, or I might do one pink one, one blue one, one mix. One pink one, one blue one, one mix, if you know what I mean. Yes, I'm I'm all right, thank you. Um just throwing out ideas and working out what raw lags I'm gonna make and what fiber I'm using and blah blah blah. So yeah, all's good. So I do know that they will all go together, work that out. So that's two sets we've got ready to make. We'll finish that one so that can go in the box. Although it needs writing down. What should we call these blue and green ones? All right, Carol, you have a fantastic day. Yes, one, one mix. One pink, one blue, one mix is my vote. Cool. That's what I'll do then. So. 
I'll write that down as well. One pink, one blue, one mix. We can do that. That's good. What do I call these? In Greek, it's peacock and wave. I could call it a wavy peacock rollag. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but I've called them lags, as in rather than putting whatever raw lag. So instead of holiday raw lags, they're called holiday lags. <laughs> Feathers. Ooh, you clever girl, Spring. Peacock feathers. That's what we're going for. Pe peacock feather lags. <laughs> Peacock ah. feather. It will be Rolex on the uh, website or the shop, but in <laughs> I'm just going with the mags because it's too it's easier. Just right. So peacock can go over there. Oh, you know I don't know how people work in such hot weather. It's not even that hot up here, but it's hot enough. If There were no sunshine when I came back upstairs because it had gone behind a cloud, but it's back. And now I can't I see nothing. One, that's two. Do I get out? I will use that one because that's... He's using as well. Pink sari silk with merino and mulberry silk. What do you think? Just to add that pop of colour going through. Because I've got that which says it's it's not just pink, it's pink, yellow and green. Not sure really. Or pink, gold and green. With that. I know, but I don't like water. So I just I mean, I have juice or coffee. <laughs> Right, let's check this out. Let's see if these will work. Let's give it a go. Give it a go, a go. Sticking to me. That's, uh, just, I'm going to have to push that in. Do you know, I'm not even going to attempt to search for the end of that. Just a bit off mm -hmm. need a lot of this in fact i'm gonna will you get off i'm gonna try and do it as thin as possible I'll show you in a minute how thin I've done it.
As, silk, as nice as silk is, it's not nice when you've got sweaty hands. <laughs> so that's as fine as I'm going, literally. Just a small stripe every now and then. And then I'll put another layer and so on and so forth. So for the next layer of this, we'll go in the four places where it wasn't beforehand and then i'll do back where it was it's just bad <laughs> Um, I have actually spun just sari silk and it comes out very bumpy and lumpy and thick and thin but <laughs> it's a fantastic texture to work with I'm not one for textured yarns but when it comes to sari silk it's a textured soft yarn so it's not how do I put it it's not overbearing on the texture. It's still soft. It's still, I like it. I like cyber silk, but everybody's different, aren't they? So it could be your pet hate by the time you've tried it. It's a bit like me. As much as I like the feel of Angora, it irritates me because it's so sh short. Um, don't get me wrong, it's the softest, nicest, wonderfulest fibre I've come across. I come across, rather. And I just don't like working with it. I don't mind if it's... Could you make an extra rollout of the and then make a short video spinning it as a demo? Yeah, of course I can. Um, I just have to empty some bobbins because I've got <clears throat> three wheels being used right now. So as soon as them wheels have been you and uh, do some demos on the Rolags that have been made up because I could I've got enough left to make one of each one so we can have some fun at the end of it if you like and we'll do a demo spin of each one I just need to like I say, empty some bobbins. I need to get some spinning done. I haven't done any for about two weeks, three weeks. Not sure.
Let's do one more of these. You have a hole in your herd, is what Trish would say. All your current bobbins are occupied. Yes, that is very true. I have a hole in my herd. Because all wheels and bobbins are being used currently. And I need to sort it out. Wash the green, the yarns as well, because I've got I found two green ones as well, which are barbs that need washing. The only, the only bit of this that's doing my head is the spidery silk. It looks like, it feels like cobwebs. <laughs> and I'm not one for cobwebs. I hate spiders. <laughs> yeah. Let's take this off and see if we can show you what I mean by how pretty it's going to look. There we go. That's the sari silk going through the white and the other silk. So I quite like that. I'm going to make some more of them. They actually look like seashells, colourful seashells. So that is what it looks like. It looks so cool. So that can go with sari silk on that stuff. So I know what it's for and where it's come from. So we've got three lots to make at some point. As you work, I am hand carding, clean, hand card cleaning a golf course fleece. Cool. Gorgeous. Thank you, Spring. Sorry, I'm leant forward because I, I can't be bothered putting my screen back up. Candy floss. No, I can't see it's candy floss. See, you can't see what I can see. You can't see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows. Um, <laughs> it's got it's more. I'd say, oh, I know, seaside rock. You know, when you get your stripes through the rock. That's what I'm imagining. Seaside rock. Might even call it seaside rock, you know. Seaside rock. I'm going to have to write that down. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Hello. Hunter's here. He hasn't been at school today, but he's in his school uniform because the taxi didn't arrive. Yeah. Uh, no, you're, I don't know. Rock is hard. It's like a hard boiled sweet, but long. And you get it at the seaside. Um, we call chewy sweets. So, like our. Um, no, wambas and stuff like that, 
Chew it, yeah, you could be right with chew it. Do you know where the grapefruit is? I do. Yeah. But I'm going to be using it in a bit. You pig. <laughs> um, Can I go to no. Oh, I've, got, I've got too much to do, sweetheart. Um, if you can get it out, um, I think yeah, I think I think because taffy's right. Does it go hard, taffy? I don't know. I've never had taffy. I don't think. I think it melts. Like do it. I'm not sure. Are you going back? Not back. I wouldn't have turned it on now because otherwise you're going to have to wait ages for it to charge up. I don't know. No, it doesn't. Right. So, yeah, yours is like our two its and one bars and things like that. No, there's loads of games on it. You don't need to download anything else. No. Sorry, just got a message. <sighs> Do you know? There were no need for me to even look at them because the pilots. <coughs> oh, you should see it stare at me. Hang on. This is just from. Doing roll legs from being sat down, I don't even really, and it's all over me. I make a right mess. Oh, right. So then, then ones. We'll do these ones first because I like these, and I'm gonna want to get as many as I can out of it. See, I don't like that in there. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, there you go. I didn't know, uh, I've, I've never really stretched a one bar. I usually roll them up and shove them in one. <laughs> so whenever I have a one bar, because I don't like pulling it, I roll it up into a tiny, well, it's quite a fat sweet, and then just shove it in my mouth. Gray. That's definitely Shetland because it's a shorter staple than the other one which is definitely jacobs i will be putting another layer on to the seashore you'd find taffy pulls making and selling pulled salt taffy well, they still kind of do that over here, but it's not with taffy, it's with rock. Because taffy looks like rock, 
until it's set and then it's rock hard. So you get to see them making that. Seaside, especially at Blackpool. We have a, a big shop where everyone can go and watch. Hi, how are you doing? And what happened there was at the factory, it's folded over, so I've just had to unfold it. At the mill, sorry, not factory. Mill. Go back to grey. Oh, Jacobs I'm good thank you Crystal just making raw lags we're trying out different um, recipes of fibres and what not and what we're going to put in the shop It is pretty. I do like it. I think it looks quite nice. Well, I I am going to go again. Um, I need to nip to the shop. I so need to finish making rollouts with my remaining alpaca. I made 90 for the tour de fleece. I'd use them all. Wow. Wow, spring. Wow. Yeah, if I didn't have the shop to sort out and this attic, attic I reckon I'd have been doing tour de fleece this year. But I'll try for next year. I'll try for next year. Yes, I like the grey as well. Um, I do believe it's Shetland. So we've got... Shetland and then Merino and they've all got either Tussa silk or Mulberry silk going through them so it's a nice combo a nice combo I like it so I'm gonna nip away again nip up to the shop get some milk some bread da -ba -da, wash up and I'll be back again 
in another hour. So I'll be back at three o'clock for me, whatever time for you. <laughs> I will set it up before I go so you'll be able to see I'll be going live again. So I'll see you all again soon. I'm liking this going on live while I'm working on them. <laughs> yes, exactly. I can try next year. Oh, I'll be back. Don't worry, Spring. I'm not going too far. And I will have a wonderful day because I'm spending it with you a lot. Love you all. And I'll be back soon. <laughs>